Alright, I got my dungeon here, so it's a fuck ton of rooms. It's like 18 chests, 8 locked doors, 12 stairs, shit. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let me just take record of all of these stair routes that I have. Oh yeah, we got this guy. Ah! unlock this door for the hell of it. I don't know if we're like required to, I, if I'm like required to unlock every single door in these dungeons, but I don't want to risk not unlocking it and then um, freaking having to like backtrack and it's just never fun when you have to backtrack. Nice, got about 251 rupees there. And another red rupee, okay. Totally didn't expect that. Oh, that's right, you gotta... You gotta get these guys... to, uh, fall on their stomachs. Oh, man, I forgot that I had this guy in here. Fuck. This bozo. Yeah, this is definitely the most elaborate chamber dungeon I've created. I mean, there's still that entire area in the top right of the map that I have yet to explore. But I think we're gonna get that final piece of heart for completing this challenge. Ah! Oh my god! Uh. And this should have the nightmare key. Yep. Alright, let's finish this once and for all. Oh, Moldorm. Ready to fight your ass. Let's go, bro. There we go. Passageway century central clear. Are you gonna give me a reward for this? Yes! Final piece of heart within my grasp. I finally have it. Uh. Alright, down here at the color dungeon. Now, thankfully, when we beat the final boss in this dungeon, it created a work point for us, so we don't have to go through it again. And we're gonna try out the red mail. I will give you the power of color. All right. Let's do blue mail. Just a little aesthetic change or outfit change. Aesthetic was not the right word, man. You got the blue mail. You'll take half as much damage. Cool. I will now take you outside. This is so cool! Actually, I don't really need to warp over there, because it's like right up here. Yeah, Dump A Shack is not that far away. Link could use the hike. 
number, come over here to number three. And I've, really only, I've got like two left, I think, here. I had two more challenges on this. This one's a doozy. You're gonna not you're not gonna be able to sit you're not gonna be able to swing that sword in the finished dungeon, so don't place any chambers that you can't get through without whacking something with the sword, and if you do, don't say I didn't warn you. Really? Okay, this that's kinda fucked up, but whatever. Alright. It's time to explore this. Go adventuring. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Alright, let's just, um, get the rod out. Oh! Ugh! Alright, man, take your shot. Take your, your other shot. Shot, 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 shot! Okay, no. I'm not gonna start stinging that. Oh my god, no. This is not happening. Can I bomb these? My Y button doesn't even respond anymore, which is so annoying. Like, it doesn't respond immediately when I push it. I wonder why it's like that. Probably need a new controller, to be honest. This controller's only a couple years old. It's not like, freaking insanely old. My PS4 controllers are like fucking six years old and they still work perfectly. Fuck. See, I was trying to fucking jump, but my X button isn't responding. It's being extra. Shit, why did I put this guy in here? This is not happening. There's, there has to be a way. Oh, thank God. Just kill him with my arrows. There we go. shit about the rest of the dungeon, to be honest. There's only one other room we haven't gone to, so... Let's head back. Get out of my way. I don't have time for you guys. I don't remember what room I put in here. Oh, it's just a fairy room. I don't even have any more fairies in my inventory, so I gotta be careful. There we go. You're done, fool! Sheath sword clear. Alright. Hearts effect, okay. Alright, Dompe, let's do your final challenge. Uh-oh. 
you're on the clock with this one. The idea is to get to the boss and beat it in just five minutes. If you ask me, if it comes down to how you place the entrance of the Nightmare Slayer, not that anyone asked me, okay? Great. That's just fucking great! Alright. Alright, five minutes, we got this. Let's go. Okay, 20 rupees. Oh my god, I put this room in here. Fuck, that was all my left stick right there, by the way. That was not me. There we go. I see a bomb on the wall, too. That leads up to the room with stairs that we've got. So we'll come back, we'll do that momentarily. Time is going by pretty quickly, though. Which means we gotta get moving here. This fool right here. And then with this chest right here, this should give us the nightmare key. Oh, it gave us a green rupee, okay. Wait, hold on a sec. Okay, there's another chest in the next room. And it's just this room. This is gonna give us the nightmare key. Don't even have to really explore the other parts of the dungeon, because I don't care. I just want to fight the boss and get this over with. There we go. There we go. You're done, fool! And 
this should give us... What a show. There were times I swear I had one foot in the, you had one foot in the grave. A throw like that is just something for my collection in exchange. We'll give us this. And the final heart container. Finally, we have 20 hearts, guys. You got a wall master's effect. Oh? It's great to watch you work, but I've been wondering if it could be better. So I threw together some challenges that you're that are tougher than anything I've given you so far. Try them, won't you? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm done. Respectfully, I'm done. Because you can keep playing through these, but the reward is not worth it. It's basically just rupees, and at this point, we don't really need any rupees. We have all the rupees in the world. Alright, so I discovered this uh, rupee grinding technique. I've got 8,200 rupees, as you can see up in the top right. I've only been doing this for like maybe an hour, but you come over here to the Rapid mini game and you choose Rapid's Race. And this does take a couple of tries to like get good at this, but if you can do this in under 30 seconds, every time he'll give you a gold rupee. So you come like this. Yep. Grab onto that one. As soon as you get down, hold the button to grab that. Hold the button to grab this. Hold the button to grab this. That. This is the shortcut you need to take every single time if you want to score that gold ruby. So come over here, like this, and then boom. 26 seconds. I know it seems like super like hard, but I'm telling you, if you've been playing through like this entire game like I have. It probably won't be too challenging for you. It's just like five, six tries or so, and then you're you, you kind of master it, and then you figure out like the shortcuts, like the right points to fire the hook shot and everything. But yeah, I only did that for an hour, and I got eighty-two hundred rupees or eighty-four hundred now. So we're gonna go to Mabe Village and buy those chamber stones. Get that out of the way. <laughs> and I've learned that you can skip the text really easily by just pressing the B button. I, I can't believe I didn't find that out sooner in the game. So that's all 14 chamber stones. Alright, that's it. I'm sick of your shit, bro! I'm sick of you charging me all this, these freaking crazy prices that shouldn't be legal. Ah, uh, there's a certain way you're supposed to do this. Oh, I got it! Huh? What, bitch? Guess what? You got it for free. Are you proud of yourself? Uh, I don't know. I mean. I thought stealing from this guy would be a lot of fun, but now that I've taken the, the item, I, you know, I can't help but feel bad. You know, should I, should I continue living on, or should I do the right thing? I wasn't getting what I said, pay! Now you'll pay the ultimate price! Oh shit! Oh my god! And... Dude, please stop upside upside! 